Okay, I think I convinced myself to try for a double Lego on the free to play. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. I just got done streaming and we were pulling champions for this extra legendary event. And I've been thinking about this all day on the free to play, right? Now, are we anywhere close to Mercy? No, we are not. Because we just got Our Lady Kimmy on the last 2x Ancients. She is still not leveled up. Don't hate me. I do have chickens. I'm going to level somebody up. I'm almost ready to level two people up. And then I hopefully soon can level another person up. So we have plenty of chickens. I just haven't pulled the trigger on anyone yet. Okay. I fully plan on Friday on pulling these sacred shards, but with how many epics and some rares that would still be good pulls, I really feel like I can just try with 19 ancients or like using 270 gems to get like two 10 pulls on ancient shards because there are plenty of good epics, okay? Now, if we just jump over and take a, a look at the roster here, um, you can tell, obviously, I have Pythion and I have Rio. And I think I've said in videos, man, I know what legendary I really want on this account. And that is freaking Mountain King. He is the number one Lego I want on this account. I've always thought Mountain King was super cool, but every time I get him, it's on super end game. Uh, you know, we don't need him anymore. We got other great champions, and I would love to have him on this account because he would fit perfectly in that team. Think about this. No, wrong X. Think about this. We could have... Pythion, Rio, Vogoth, and Mountain King on the same arena team. How cool would that be? That would be amazing. And then once we get Arbiter, we can do Arbiter, Deacon, maybe Rhonda, and Genbo. Or Arbiter, Deacon, Lady Kimmy, something like that. So I think that... Either way, Legos in general would be really good on this account. So we're going to try to pull, okay? I don't know whether it's a good idea or not. Basically, we'll see what we get, and then we'll decide. If it's 10 rares, then hey, then we'll have some food for the uh, champion training, right? We are ready to fuse. No, wait, wait. We're ready to fuse. We have all four. Yes. Ready to fuse for the epic. I'm not going for the legendary because I didn't think I could do it. So that's the reason why I'm going to pull today. And is it luck if we get it? Yes. Yes, it would be very lucky. Okay. So let's jump in here. Let's pull the shards. We'll see what we get. Hopefully, actually, one last thing. If I'm going to get an epic... Let it please be Geomancer. I have a five-star blessing for Geo, and that would be ridiculous on this account to get Geo. So, let's pull those shards. If we're going to get a good epic, let it be Geo. Otherwise, let's get a double Lego out of the first ten pull and call it a day, right? All right, now that we've figured that out, let's rip the Band-Aid off and just see if we get lucky. All rares, that's what we're going to do. Oh, we did it! Vizier and Drexthar. Yo! Let's freaking go right now. Let's go. Okay. Drexthar and Vizier. I don't even know how to feel about that. Okay, I don't know how to process that. All right, so the Drexthar you can get for free. So that puts way less pressure on me to get him. Drexthar could be great for this go second team. That's that's definitely a thing I will consider leveling him up. He has the AoE Provoke. It's not a 100% chance, but that's okay. And then he has the A1 Triple Hitter 
can place the HP burn. And then, obviously, when he gets hit, he can place the HP burn. And he has a sweet accuracy in all battles aura. Also, he's great for early game Hydra. <laughs> Let's go right now. And then Vizier is amazing, guys. A Vizier is amazing. So each hit has a 35% chance to increase the duration of all debuffs. So you can set him up to be A1 only. Usually he's good in like an unkillable team because he's an attack based champion. But technically he does have block buffs, decrease attack, heal reduction. Uh, he has the debuff spread. So interesting. So can we... Can we do Drexthar, HP Burn, Vizier, Debuff Spread, and then use that for our Spider team? Can we do that? I still can't beat Spider 20. Huh. Alright, now I definitely don't know what to do. Also, we got my favorite rare, Guardian. This is a an excellent temple. And we got it on the first temple. That's actually insane. Actually insane. All right. So, presuming that during this champion training, I can level up three champions to 60, which three would it be? Okay. I'm pretty sure in the comments, you guys are going to say Lady Kimmy, even though I don't know. I think the second one should be Drexthar. And then I think the third one I should wait until Friday. I think the third one I should wait until Friday. But maybe I should just put these two to 50. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Heck yes. All right. Well, you guys tell me what I should do in the comments below. I'm going to pull these Sacred Shards on Friday. We'll see if we can get lucky over there as well. And then make it real difficult. If we get a Lego or good Epics or both on Friday. And then we get the Fusion on Friday as well. The Epic, the Laja, she has to be built. Because I'm pretty sure she's going straight in my clan boss team for this passive. Because I have other Lizardmen in there. I really want to try her. And this ability seems great also. So, <laughs> let's just make it super difficult on me, okay? Because I got these chickens cooking in here. Uh, Husk is not a chicken. Um, I forget why. I think I end up taking one out to put in a, in a faction war team. And then the rest of these guys, those are going to be those are going to be some chickens. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me about your double Legos. A big congrats to me. Congrats to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.